G'day, it's Matt from Crank Engineering and back with the second video in the basic electronics or electrics series and today we're going to talk a bit about basic circuits and we're going to use one of these kids um, you know, test uh, kits that they use for teaching electronics. The only reason being is it's really easy to see everything and you can see what's going on with the multimeter. So we'll start with this and we'll set up the basic circuit. Okay, let's make a really basic series circuit here, which uh, is very common to what you see on your motorbike, and I'll explain that in a second. But first, I wanted to show you what's going on with the batteries here. So these two uh, little AA batteries, um, everyone knows AA is 1.5 volts. So let's just see what the multimeter says. So um, we're just going to put it across the battery. So this one says plus up here. So I'm going to do plus and minus. And we've actually got 1.68 on that one. And on this guy here, we've got minus 1.677. So close enough to 1.68 as well. So they're connected in series. So this uh, little battery holder is connecting those two batteries in series. So if it goes from the positive to the negative, the negative to the positive, the positive to the negative, then back out. So we've got them in series. So across the two batteries, we've got 3.36 volts okay so that's what we're working with 3.36 volts can't kill yourself for 3.6 volts even if you start licking terminals which we're not going to do all right i might just zoom in a little bit here and tip that camera down a bit all right so what do we got positive terminal uh negative terminal so what we're going to do is we're going to connect the positive terminal here to this uh light globe terminal I'm going to go from there to there. So we're going around here through the light globe, back around here to this switch, and then back to the battery. So we have completed the circuit all the way around. So 3.36 volts through here, through the battery, back around to a switch, and back to the battery. Now, the light globe hasn't lit up. Why not? Well, because the switch is off, right? So the circuit is open. There's no complete circuit all the way around here. So there's a break in the circuit, which is what the switch is here for. So as soon as we switch it on, we get a light. So that's all the switch is doing, is breaking the circuit, opening the circuit, or closing the circuit, opening the circuit. So no different to a headlight, right? So you turn the headlight on, turn the headlight off. So that's a basic series circuit. Light, electricity is going all the way around from one end to the other. Now, um, if you've got a problem with this circuit and the light globe doesn't light up, well, what are you going to check? So you're going to check a couple of things, and I'll zoom out for a second so we can see the multimeter. So let's just take the light globe out. So clearly, if the light globe was blown, like it will be now that I've dropped it on the floor, um, light's not going to light up, right? But we want to test what the problem actually is. So if we know that there's supposed to be 3.36 volts across this battery, so there we go. I've got 3.34, whatever it might be. And if this, if this was a wire going up to the battery terminal, if I tested it here, and I've still got the same voltage, well, I know that the wire between here and here is okay. In this case, it's just a you know, piece of plastic with a bit of metal on the back, and that's making a connection. So I've got 3.34, 3.34, but I go to this side, and I've really got, that's millivolts, that's thousands of a volt dropping all the way down it's saying I can't see any voltage effectively you've got zero well why have you got zero well because it's a break in the circuit here which would be no different to what would happen if the light globe was blown so my multimeter is telling me my problem is between this point and this point which is great that's what it's there to do so let's get that glow back and uh, go to the next one okay in this uh, circuit I've taken out the switch and I've replaced it with a momentary switch, and I'll show you what that does. You know, this could be uh, similar to uh, your indicator circuit, or maybe a brake light circuit, where when you push down or close the circuit, you know, the globe lights up, and as soon as you release it, it breaks the circuit, and the globe goes out. So, you know, it's similar to an indicator circuit, really. So that's a momentary switch, which is basically spring-loaded. So it'll spring open and break the circuit, and you've got to press it to close it. So again, used on some circuits in the bike. 
Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, I've made another change to the circuit now, and this time I've taken the globe out and I've put in a little motor. When you say, what do I need a propeller on my motorbike for? Well, just think about the analogy between this and your starter motor. So, same deal, I've got a momentary switch, which is just like your, uh, just like your starter button, for example. So let's see what happens when we close this circuit. Okay, starter motor on, starter motor off. No different to what happens in your bike. And again, we can use the same techniques to test the voltage at different points and make sure the circuit's closed. That's a good way to test the wiring. Okay, well that's the basics of, of circuits. And in the next video, we'll look at the difference between uh, series and parallel circuits and how that might apply to your motorbike too. Thanks for watching.